Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are tuning in from. Happy New Year. Happy. Oh, did I say happy? Oh my God. Yes, it's still Happy New Year. We're still in the new year. Happy New Week, guys. How is everyone doing? I know. I know. I've been crying. Guys, are you a Nigerian? Even if you're not a Nigerian, have you been following the newest election in Nigeria? Oh, my God. Honestly, personally, I and so many people, we have been waiting for new Nigeria. For new Nigeria. This is why the election, you know, I was so excited. So many people were so excited that we're going to have a new Nigeria because when we hear all the time that Nigeria is so corrupt, indeed, Nigeria is so corrupt. Nigeria is corrupt. I don't need to wish wash. I don't need to hold anything back. I am crying like profusely. I have been crying. <gasps> I couldn't eat since yesterday because the election was conduct conducted and they promised us that we're going to see the results right at the polling board, right? Behold, they rigged the federal election, presidential federal election. Honestly, I don't know how many of us that has been following, so... It means that Nigeria is back to square one. When you cannot give the, the citizens their right, they have every right to choose whom they want to govern them as the president of Nigeria. So people went out of their ways. I'm crying. Honestly, I am crying like my family that live in Nigeria, some of them couldn't vote because they couldn't find their PVC card, the card that is required for them to use to, to vote. They were not, some of them were not able to vote. And according to the news out there, they say that in every polling station, if you live in the Western world, if you know how election works, You'll be seeing everything on the computer, on the TV. They will be reading the result right under your face. They'll be reading the result right under your face, under your nose. You will see all the results. However, what they promised, the Electoral Commission of Nigeria, the INEC, what they promised the masses, it wasn't how it worked out. They promised that people will see the results right at the polling station. What they did, they collected all the ballot boxes. They took it inside the office. They switched around all the results. And they chose their own people, their own person to be the president of Nigeria. However, it's complicated anyway. Some people are saying that Tinubu won the election. On the contrary, the chairman of the INEC, after they have released the result early this morning, they went back now and they said that the result is not, is not what they announced that is the result. So I don't understand what country is this? Where do we live in? How can we move forward? It's very sickening. It is, yeah, Sunday. It is very sickening. What kind of country is this for crying out loud? Why is it that we can't move forward? Why is it that they promised their people that is going to be a true and fair election and the election is not true? It is not fair. 
People are crying. People's votes were scattered all over the place. Some people went to polling station where they cast the vote to snatch the ballot boxes. And this is the reason why they say that this year's election is going to be so different. No snatching of ballot boxes, that the election will be free and fair, that they will read the result right under our eyes. But instead of them to read the result right under our eyes, they stayed right under our eyes and rigged the election. How can we be better? How can Nigeria move forward? I am so sick. Who else here is sick the way I am? Honestly, let me be very honest with you guys. Whether APC, whether PDP, whether Labour, take the party aside, but look at the, the profiles of the individuals who are coming out to be the president of Nigeria. Let us face the fact and look at the profiles of the people. Who are those people? It is not the party. It is about the person who is ready to lead Nigeria forward. I am so sick and tired of the corruption in Nigeria. How can we not have a country? Like seriously, how can we not have a country? How is it that we labor in pain and in vain? We live in the Western world. We work so hard to send money home, to establish business, to give job opportunity to people. But the government is not allowing us to do that. It's a country where you have a business. If you need road, you have to construct your own road. If you need water, you have to open your own borehole. If you need electricity, you have to create your own electricity. And we work so hard to make this work, to help put food on other people's table. But the government is so corrupt. Yes, you are. Yeah, Nigeria Sunday. Nigeria is used to that, but they are tired. They are tired. It doesn't matter who is, who can tell me that. That they are used to suffering they are tired they want change we cannot sit back and say okay nigeria is used to election being rigged nigeria is used to things not working fine in nigeria people are tired because you and i have the privilege to be in the western world to have our kids here to have most of us have our parents here. How about the people that live in that country that doesn't have the opportunity? They are not opportuned to be to leave that country. It is not about me. I want you guys to know that it's not about you. If you live in the Western world, you are very selfish if you have to think that Nigeria, that because you live in the Western world, that whatever is going on in Nigeria it's not about you. It's about them. You are very selfish. You got to think about other people. Where is the blood in your veins? Do you have blood running down your veins if you live in the Western world and you think because things are okay with you? Look at me. I'm lying down on my couch. I have electricity. I have everything. It's Monday. I am in my house. I run my own business from my own computer in my house. I can eat six square meals if I want to eat six to ten square meals. And you want me to lie back on my chair, on my couch, on my bed, and say that it's okay, that I'm fine, that my kids are doing it is not fair. You have to think of other people. Yes, you stretch out your hands and you give to people. The best you can do is to make people be comfortable. Because if you make people comfortable, they will not beg you. You will have enough to save. They will not beg you. People always say, I, I'd rather be a giver than to be a taker. 
right? You want to be a giver. How long can you be giving? The best you can do is to let those people you've been giving, let them give to themselves so that you can earn your sanity back. So you can have peace of mind. We all love to give. I love to give. But for how long? How long can you give? If you are in your 30s and 40s, how many years do you think that you can give without, without getting drained or without being drained? Forget about the parties. Think about the individuals. Where are we heading to? We live here. We can go to Nigeria. We change some pounds, some euros, some dollars, and the money will be all over the place. People are suffering in that country. Lend your voice to the less voices for people who don't have voice. Help people. It's not by relaxing. I can choose and pick and say, you know what? I don't care what is going on in Nigeria. I'm very okay. But that is very selfish. That would be very selfish of me. Lend your voices to the voiceless. Nigeria is still corrupt. We cannot move forward with what is on the ground. We cannot move forward. Regardless of how much money you send back home, before, maybe four years ago or three years ago, if you send $1,000 to your family, they can do a lot with that. But when you send $1,000 today, they cannot do a jack with $1,000. They can't do a jack. What does that make you? You that live in the Western world, it also makes you to work double hours, to work more so that you can provide for your people out there. What used to be 10 Naira, before it's now 100 naira how is that helping you how is that helping your health be konu yes learn to stop being selfish and think about other people nigeria is back to square one unless the un intervenes with this federal election with this presidential election and let this election let people do election or voting all over if un doesn't intervene in nigerian election we are turning back 300 degrees backwards every independent people will come and jubilate we have independent neither we don't have no independent nigerians cannot do anything for themselves nigeria cannot do the country is so polluted Go and watch the video that I posted. I posted that video on YouTube before this. Before this, my life. is the video I posted on YouTube before this. Go and see what is happening. Unfortunately, there's a lot of violence in this uh, uh, election, but I cannot upload them. I have to follow the guidelines of the platform where I am uploading the video. Nigeria is hell. If you are not a Nigerian, make sure you do your studies, do your research before you go to Nigeria for vacation or to visit somebody. Nigeria is still in a hole. I don't blame Trump when he said that we are shit hole. We are still shit hole. Whether you like to believe it or not, look at what is going on on federal election. Nigeria is still shit hole. I say it, yes. Go and download the video and put it somewhere. I say it, Nigeria is still shithole. As much as I have businesses in Nigeria, employ people, pay people, help to put food on their table, Nigeria is still shithole. The only one of the only countries where if you want water, you run in a business, you provide your water, you provide your electricity, you provide your own security. At the end of the day, government will still come and knock on your door and ask you for taxes if you have a business. So you're paying all these taxes and you're still taking care of yourself. Providing road, providing water, providing electricity, providing where does those taxes go to? And this is why we wanted change for this election so that we can have somebody better who can lead us 
out of the desert and it's not happening. We needed somebody to lead us out of the calamity because Nigeria is in deep shit hole. And we're not getting that. And people are here thinking about party. Is this this party or the other party? Start focusing on the individuals and stop thinking about the party. The party, party is not going to take you anywhere. Think about the individual behind the party. This is all I have to tell you guys this morning. I cried on the social media because of my country. I cry for Nigeria. I cry for Nigeria. And I'm still crying. I hope they reverse this election so that the election will be fair, just and fair. I'll leave you guys so I can go ahead and uh, and go do my work on the internet. Okay, thank you guys.